Germany's military readiness, a response to the US and Russian threats. Hello and welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. Germany, the largest economy in Europe, has announced that it's making its army ready for the battle for the first time since the World War II. This decision comes in the uncertainty of the U.S. commitment to NATO and the growing tension with Russia over Ukraine. The U.S., the leading member of NATO in terms of budget and troops, had been an ally and protector of Germany and other European countries since the end of World War II. However, the relationship between The U.S. and Germany has deteriorated under the presidency of Donald Trump, who has repeatedly criticized Germany for not spending enough on defense and for benefiting from the U.S. military presence in Europe. Trump, who is seeking re-election in November 2023, has also threatened to withdraw U.S. troops from Europe, leaving Germany and other NATO members vulnerable to potential aggression from Russia. Russia, which annexed Crimea from Ukraine in 2014 and continues to support separatist rebels in eastern Ukraine. is seen as a major security threat by many European countries, especially those that border Russia or have a large Russian minority. Germany, which has been reluctant to increase its military spending and involvement in international conflicts, has realized that it can rely on the U.S. for its security and that it has to take more responsibility for its own defense and that of Europe. Germany's defense minister has announced that it will reorganize its army in a way that will make it more capable of responding to various threats, including cyber attacks, hybrid warfare and conventional warfare. Germany's army will consist of four components, air, land, naval and internet forces. The air force will focus on providing air support and surveillance. The land force will focus on deploying troops and equipment. The naval force will focus on protecting the sea lanes and conducting amphibious operations, and the internet force will focus on defending and attacking the cyberspace. Germany's defense minister, Anna Kramp Runner, said that the reorganization of the army is a historic step that will make Germany a more reliable and stronger partner within NATO and the European Union. She also said that Germany is not seeking to become a military superpower, but rather a responsible actor that can contribute to the peace and stability in the world. However, Germany's military readiness may also face some challenges and crits. Some of the challenges include increasing the defense budget to meet the NATO target of 2% of GDP, recruiting and retaining enough qualified personnel, acquiring and maintaining modern and interoperable equipment, and overcoming the historical And cultural aversion to militarism in Germany and Europe. Some of the criticisms may come from the US, which may see Germany's military readiness as a sign of defense and competition, rather than cooperation and solidarity. Some of the criticisms may also come from Russia, which may see Germany's military readiness as a provocation and trade, rather than a deterrence and reassurance. Therefore, Germany's military readiness may have significant implications for the future of the transatlantic alliance and the European security. It may also depend on the outcomes of the U.S. presidential election, which will determine whether the U.S. will continue to support or abandon its European allies. The U.S. presidential election is widely seen as a crucial factor for the fate of the U.S.-Germany relations and the stability of Europe. The incumbent President Donald Trump has been a vocal critic of Germany and NATO, accusing them of being delinquent and free riders on the U.S. defense spendings. He has also expressed admiration for Russia's President Vladimir Putin and has sought to improve ties with Moscow. Despite its interference in 2016, U.S. election and its aggression in Ukraine, Trump's challenger Joe Biden has been a staunch supporter of Germany and NATO, calling them the cornerstones of our security. He has also pledged to restore the U.S. leadership and credibility in the world and And to confront Russia's malign activities and support Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The U.S. electoral system is based on the state-by-state -state distribution of electoral votes. 
rather than the popular vote. The outcome may also depend on the water turnout, the impact of the coronavirus pandemic, and the possibility of legal disputes and social unrest. The U.S. election results may have a significant impact on the situation in Ukraine, where a war between the government forces and the Russian-backed separatists has been ranging since 2014. The conflict, which has claimed more than 13,000 lives and displaced millions of people, has been a main source of tension between the U.S. and Russia and a major challenge for the European security and stability. The U.S. has been a key ally and supporter of Ukraine, providing us with diplomatic, economic, and military assistance, including little weapons. The U.S. has also imposed sanctions on Russia for its annexion of Crimea and its involvement in the war in eastern Ukraine. The U.S. has also led the first to coordinate the international response to the crisis and facilitated the peace talks under the Normandy format, which involves France, Germany, Russia, and Ukraine. However, the U.S. role in the Ukraine conflict has been undermined by Trump's controversial actions and statements such as withholding military aid to Ukraine in exchange for investigations into Biden and his son, who had business dealings in Ukraine, questioning the U.S. commitment to Ukraine's defense and suggesting that Crimea belongs to Russia. This action and statements have raised doubts about the U.S. reliability and credibility as an ally and a leader, and have emboldened Russia to continue its aggression and interference in Ukraine. Biden, on the other hand, has vowed to increase the U.S. support to Ukraine and to work with the European allies to pressure Russia to respect the Minsk agreements, which are the basis for the peaceful resolution for the conflict. Biden has also promised to restore the U.S. role in the Normandy format and to coordinate with the other members to advance the political and security aspects of the peace process. The U.S. election results may also affect the prospects of the NATO enlargement, which is another continuous issue between the U.S. and Russia, and a strategic goal for some of the European countries, especially those that are located near Russia or have a history of Russian domination. Among these countries, Ukraine and Georgia have expressed their desire and readiness to join NATO and have received the support of the US and some of the European allies. However, the NATO enlargement process has been stilled by the opposition of Russia, which considers it a threat to its security and interests, and by the reluctance of some of NATO members, which are considered about the possible escalation of the tensions and costs of the collective defense. The NATO enlargement processes has also been complicated by the internal challenges and reforms that the aspiring countries have undergone, as well as by the political and legal obstacles that the NATO members have to overcome. The U.S. elections results may influence the NATO enlargement process by affecting the U.S. stance and leadership on the issue, as well as the U.S.-Russia relations and the security situation in Europe. Trump has been skeptical and dismissive of the NATO enlargement and has suggested that the U.S. may not defend some of the NATO members if they are attacked by Russia. He has also expressed his willingness to improve the relations with Russia and invite Putin to join the G7 group of major economies, despite the objections of the other members. Biden has been supportive and enthusiastic of the NATO enlargement and has reaffirmed the U.S. commitment to the collective defense of NATO members. He has also pledged to confront Russia's aggression and interference in Europe and to isolate it from the international community unless it changed its behavior and respects the international norms and rules. In conclusion, Germany's military readiness as a response to the U.S. and Russian threats and a reflection of its change role and responsibility in European security and stability. The U.S. presidential election may have a significant impact on the U.S.-German relations and the situation in Ukraine, as well as on the NATO enlargement process and the U.S.-Russian relations. The outcomes of the election may determine whether the U.S. will continue to support or abandon European allies and whether it will cooperate or compete with Russia. This was our news analysis for today. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and share this video.